back to another epi. This week we did so much stuff, so let's do a quick run through. Shorty got her lady parts taken out, so there's no babies getting made in this household. I quite literally had to go to the deep, darkest points of the earth to try to find a damn camera. I put myself to work and went through my whole damn closet and got rid of so much clothes. We had a little craft night. Manifesting my best life here. I went to my first baseball game in literally probably five fucking years, but woohoo, spring training in Arizona, we love it. And of course, other adventures that I get into in this vlog. But let's not spoil it, here we go. Hello everyone, happy Monday. Welcome back to another epi. I just had to go pick up a package from the post office. It's so annoying signing for packages. Like I swear they don't even knock anymore. They just like leave that note and make you come pick it up. I am so excited about the component in this package. <laughs> oh. As y'all know, I'm a big robe girl. Like I constantly live in my robe, I swear to God. I saw this bad boy pop up on my Instagram shopping recommended. I also right now am like in an obsession with pink and lavender like I don't know why but this color combo just makes me so happy Ooh, this just feels like good quality it's terry cloth we need to put this on my body by the way I'm wearing the free people movement onesie it's like a long sleeve it's amazing oh ooh, I feel like a master and it's like humongous which is good I think we love this this is amazing Wow, even look at the collar, you guys. Wait, that's kind of fancy. Okay, you guys, we just wrapped recording. But the last five minutes, I got a call from the vet, and Shorty is ready. She just got spayed this morning. I had to bring her there at like 7 a.m. So they said she did wonderful. I'm excited to see her. She's probably gonna be so, like, tired. <laughs> so let's go pick Shorty up. Hi, baby. Guys, she's so tired. She can't even like look at me. She's like shaking. I'm like, uh, why is she shaking? They're like, she's probably cold. I'm like, mm, that seems weird, but okay. <sighs> I struggled. I had to carry her. I've never fully carried her like in my apartment complex with all the other shit I had in my hand. Trying to open the doors without dropping her and not touching her incisions was so hard. But I put her down on the couch and she's all cuddled up and she literally, she is just. Oh, she's chilling. I'm like, close your eyes. Oh, she looks so cozy though. Oh my God, how cute though. This is her widow cone. It's like way more comfortable than the plastic ones that they give you. And it's just cuter. Vibing. Look at Shortcake's donut. <laughs> Why did you just suddenly start breathing weird? Uh oh. Oh, the baby. It, it might look uncomfortable, but it's really the comfiest cone that is out there. This one's actually a little too big, so I had my mom go pick up a smaller one from the pet store because I feel like at night she'll be able to take it off. She's just been sleeping all day. She did pee on my couch because she was like in a trance and she like couldn't stop and I was like, oh God. Oh, look at what grandma got you. How cute. It's a little seahorse. Hi. So, um, Maya Benway's puppy, I'm the grandma, um, and she's shaking, and Maya said she was shaking when she left there, and she I think I got a very special package. This brand is so sick. Is it? I think it's on, I think it's on. This brand is called Green Philosophy, and basically, like, I immediately saw these, like, leaf pink pillows. Actually, this one's a succulent, and I was obsessed with it. And I think Shorty's gonna love gnawing on these little things. It's actually kind of a funny story because they DM'd me and they sent me like two of the pillows and then like a week later they were like, your package got lost, like we're gonna send you another one. And then like two days after that, they're like, eh, we found it, now you're getting two. So I have two more. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the quality is actually like really good too. Like this actually is like very good, very good. Like how freaking cute. Let me tidy up real quick. Laptops like that, easy access to work on. These are my old pillows, but I'll honestly, like, will I even use them? Antler. Hee hee hee. One right there. Oh, and Shorty's already taking that one as well. Boom. Boom. 
How cute, shortcake. These are from Green Philosophy. Go give them some love. I know they have like multiple colors, not just pink. And other shapes too. Oh, and by the way, Shorty's like completely fine today. She must be like a really crazy dog or something because literally she got it yesterday and today she's like completely back to normal. Like normal energy and everything. It's a rainy day here in Arizona today. I just got back from Mexico and I actually brought my old vlog camera, my G7X. I literally haven't used that in probably like three years. But I wanted to bring it because it was like smaller and compact and then it broke. <laughs> completely shattered you guys need to go watch that vlog it was absolutely insane it was last week's vlog but long story short that got me thinking and i was like wait i kind of enjoyed vlogging on my camera it was like so easy to bring it everywhere then i was like i should just buy another one and maybe i'll start vlogging with that and like see how things go it was the og vlog camera and that's when everything popped off so maybe that's where the magic is happening so yeah let's go to best buy boom Found it. It was in its own little section. Of course, it's literally so much more expensive. I have a theory because you know how it's like cool on TikTok right now to literally use your G7X for flash pictures. I think they just like raised the prices of all G7Xs because when I had that camera, it was like 400 bucks. I can't even make this up. There was a girl standing right next to me. She got the last fucking G7X. Just got back from my second Best Buy. Very unsuccessful. They literally are out of every G7X. Place I got cheeses. They sounded so good. Okay. So, I might just have to end up ordering it online. See, I must be in a purging mood because I am getting rid of a million clothes right now. Oh my god. I've been filling this box up. I thought this box would hold all my clothes. I don't think it will. This is a huge box. It's already full of clothes that I'm gonna sell. Here's the tea. <laughs> if you guys were subscribed and watching my videos when I was in my old apartment in Arizona, <laughs> that closet was amazing. It was ginormous. It was everything I could have asked for. This one, on the other hand, it's a little bit different. It's a walk-in closet. It's big, but I know I'm sounding dramatic, but what I had before was like, this is a fourth of the size of what I had before, so that's what I'm comparing it to, okay? I just went through literally all of my clothes i couldn't i literally couldn't get my hand through this side of the closet especially so i think i got rid of 40 pieces on my whites tans and blacks <laughs> and i'm honestly so proud of myself like i literally have room in my closet now remember the box that i showed you i still have all of these clothes to put in it literally all of these and these zooey mama <laughs> What? What I was saying is, if you've been following me for a while, you know I do huge Depop sales. And it is time for another one, let me just tell you that. So here's the thing, these pieces that I'm getting rid of, like, they're cute. Like, I really genuinely do like them, but I just don't have room for them. So what I did is I went through everything and was like, does this fit me and not make me uncomfortable when I wear it? Because you know those items that you wear, you're like, ugh, keep tugging at, or you wish it was longer, or you wish it was tighter in your waist or something? That's, those are the clothes I got rid of that didn't fit me 100%. And maybe it'll fit you, which is gonna be a win-win for both of us. But yeah, I'll have my Depop linked. I literally, this is only the creams and the browns and the blacks, but I have so much more good stuff. I'll have all the info of when I'm gonna do the drop because normally the clothes sell out really fast. And I always do them for a good deal, especially what I buy them for. Hey guys, it's craft night. Let me just tell you, putting more craft nights in your life will significantly make it better. So this week's craft night is a manifestation board. I know I'm like three months late to it. Should have did this in January. Actually, should have did it in December. But you know, I'm just getting around to it now, so <laughs> better late than never, right? You guys, I'm not even gonna lie. I was like low-key a manifestation board, vision board hater, but recently I have changed my mind on it just because, I mean, it's proven what you say to yourself, what you see every single day, is what is going to become your reality. So I'm gonna try to hang this up like right in my bedroom doorway somewhere I can like see it so many times a day. Then I think it'll actually be beneficial. My last vision board, I'm not gonna lie, I shoved under my bed. That wasn't very helpful. 
Look at all the pictures that I printed out. I'm so excited to arrange everything. Get off there. This, I can't use though. This is a gray cloud board for when I do photo shoots. I have to use this red one because this is the only poster board they had at the store. You know what we have to do first. Let's do blue. Let's kill the acne. And the men. <laughs> I think it looks amazing, but I'm trying to figure out a place to put it where I'm actually gonna look at it every single day Is it stupid to put it right here? I say that because this is a quite chaotic poster My room is the quite opposite of chaotic. Like it's super minimalistic. There's not much to it Here just might have to be the place Is that just so dumb though? Like it's like literally in the middle of a huge wall Ow, motherfucker I actually feel like on my bathroom door might be more appropriate. I just feel like that wall is so big on this door. I put some command strips on the back, so I hope it holds up. Woo! So guys, let me show you what I put on it. Number one, the biggest goal of 2023 is absolutely clear skin. Would you believe me if I said this was literally my skin like four months ago? Yeah, just kidding. I did edit out like two zits, but this is the goal, okay? Gray Cloud in stores. Um, Gray Cloud's already in two stores, but I want to get it into hopefully some more this year. That's a goal because I have no idea where, so if any boutiques are watching, I want to put Gray Cloud in it. One mil. Oh, I need to write my name. <laughs> my Benway to a mil. Put some pictures with friends, manifesting always more in my life. Concerts, I definitely want to go to more raves and concerts. Eating healthy and LOL, my mom randomly printed out this picture. She's like, this is inspiring you to keep in your younger energy self. And I was like, facts, low key, I should put that on there. Obviously also to grow this. Kind of sus though, because I literally printed out a network, a podcasting network that I was like manifesting us to sign with. And for some reason that didn't print off. So I'm like, was that a sign to not go with that one? Or I don't know, it's just a sign not to, no, it's just a no. I thought this was so funny, I needed to include it. Woman says she won't stop until her Pinterest board become a reality. I also think that's funny. But yeah, I think I like how it turned out. Let me know if you guys have done a vision board yet or if you're planning on it because this is your example. You do not have to do it in January or even in February. Do it in March. <laughs> we love baseball. <laughs> She's in her baseball era. This is my first baseball game probably since junior year in high school. She was skeptical at first, but I was like, no, you have to at least come to one because it ends We had to get the full experience. Yummy! I don't even know how the fuck I'm gonna eat this. It's like pure sauce. Wait, this is the first. This is the first play. Mm -hmm. You guys, it also shocks me at the amount of people that come here for spring training. Like this is insane. Time temperature 70 degrees. All right, guys. Oh, not a good hit. I'm gonna get it. Watch. Out. Update on the, the food. That literally tastes so bad. Hero. So we're sharing that. Mm -hmm. Ew, what kind of cheese? Just kidding, it's not that is bad. It's like nacho cheese. And it's cold. <laughs> yeah. Let's try it. <laughs> not bad. Like it just doesn't hit though. Like it's like what? Yeah, it's like the worst kind of like ingredients. Yes. Something to make something. Yeah. I need like really random things here today. First of all, why is this stuff actually so bomb though? Like it tastes good. I'm getting it, I don't even care. I feel like it's such a weird brand of toothpaste to get. 